सो हाई डियर एक्वेरियस अ वेरी वेरी गुड इवनिंग टू यू गाइज दिस इज अंजलि टैर एंड दिस इज अ जनरल ऑफ रीडिंग फॉर ऑल द एक्वेरियस सन मून मिनस राइजिंग कीप इन माइंड दिस इज जनरल इट माइट माइट नॉट रेजोनेट विद यू एट द फर्स्ट प्लेस द सेकेंड थिंग द रोल्स कैन बी रिवर्स एनी टाइम थर्ड थिंग दिस इज रीडिंग फ्रॉम ट्वेल्थ टिल दर्टीन ऑफ डिसम्बर सो लेट स्टार्ट योर पार्टनर्स करंट फीलिंग्स फॉर यू राइट नाउ आर लेट सी लेट सी योर पार्टनर्स करंट फीलिंग्स फॉर यू राइट नाउ एक्वेरियस लेट सी वट्स हैपनिंग Ten of Pentacles. Okay, somebody feels like you are a marriage material. They feel like they should get married to you, or at least they see the, or at least they can see the potential in this connection in this relationship. Ten of Pentacles with Four of Wands is definitely a card of commitment, happily ever after, and a long-term committed kind of relationships and stable kind of connection. Let's clarify. Ten of Pentacles. This is uh, Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. Two of Cups and the Queen of Wands and the Knight of Swords. This is someone who definitely feels like a soulmate connection towards you. They feel like you are a very attractive person, and they should take the charge of this situation uh, uh, before somebody else uh, is going to do that with you, right? So this is someone. It could be a new person. It could be a younger person who is very much interested in you, and they're very, they are very highly attracted towards you, and they definitely feel a soul connection with you, and they feel like they should take action as soon as possible, as might be you are going to choose somebody else over them. okay okay it could be very much possible that they are scared to lose you scared to lose this opportunity to be with you and i feel like this is a new energy or newish kind of energy younger energy that's coming towards you this person can be younger to you or they are someone who behaves like kids and behaves like a little bit like kids hmm immature kind of energy you can say Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Every sign is there, so just go with the energies. Let's see what do you feel about this person or the situation right now, Aquarius. Three of Swords. You're heartbroken because of some kind of toxic past or because of uh, issues from a particular relationship or a specific relationship. Okay, uh, somebody was obsessed with you, or you were obsessed with somebody, or somebody left you because of a third party situation, and this is a heartbreaking situation for you. You are still dealing with some kind of heartbreak. and sadness you are healing from a heartbreak trying to heal from that actually gemini libra aquarius energy let's clarify your heart broken from inside sad and depressed let's clarify this six of wands and the empress and the death card okay okay some kind of relationship or marriage or commitment ended in the past and you are still working on that right so there was a connection uh, with whom you felt like you you should have a growth and expansion in the future you should get married to that person uh you might be uh, having some kind of, you you might be having kids with that person or you might be having a very committed and happy kind of relationship with that person in the past and that ended a chapter closed in your life something ended here very abruptly and that caused you a lot of heart a lot of hurt and lot of sadness Okay, you are still dealing with that kind of energy, and uh, still obsessed, still kind of attached with that energy, still kind of attached with the toxic past. Okay, so you could be dealing with Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Let's see what does this person wants from this situation or from you right now, Aquarius. Let's see. <clears throat> Seven of Swords. Okay, this person wants you to open up with them and reveal the truth. they want to definitely want to, they definitely want to know the truth about you the secrets about you they want to might be they got to know something about you and they want to hear it from you or they have some kind of secret that, that they want to share with you okay let's clarify this they definitely feel like you are hiding something from them right and they want you to reveal it to them gemini libra aquarius energy let's clarify this Nine of Wands, Two of Swords, and the Three of Wands. Yes, this person definitely wants to reveal something about a hurtful situation, or they want you to reveal something hurtful uh, that you are, you are going through right now. And they are definitely on the crossroads regarding the future of this connection, and that's why this person wants to wait, wait for you, wait for the clarity, wait for the truth, wait for you to reveal the truth or reveal the issues that you are facing, and that you are going through, reveal the hurt and pain. that you are going through in your life and they are not sure about the future of this connection with you they are not able to see actually the clear picture of the future between you and them so they are definitely on the cross roads regarding the situation between you and them and that they this person definitely wants to wait wait for the time when you are going to reveal everything to them 
why you are so hurt why you are so closed off why are, why you are not that much happy in this relationship that you should be or why you are not ex, uh, ready to accept this person or uh, able to accept this person in your life right so the roles can be reversed it could be you it could be them just keep that in mind so they definitely want to wait for the right time for the situation to improve and to have the clarity and truth out of the situation okay so aries leo sagittarius gemini libra aquarius energy let's see what do you want from this person or the situation right now aquarius let's see okay king of swords in reverse is telling me you want to have some kind of emotional conversation or you want to have some kind of emotional attachment with this person the, the the king of swords in reverse is telling me that you have some kind of attachment with this person definitely right and uh, you, there's lack of communication or there's lack of clarity or truth in this situation you want the truth and uh, truth and clarity to come out but with patience with emotions not with blunt kind of energies let's clarify this king of swords in reverse gemini libra aquarius energy <clears throat> page of pentacles two of wands and the tempest yes you want this connection to start from a friendship level and you want this person to wait for the time when you will be able to reveal everything to them by yourself right and you want to be very very patient with this person you want to balance the emotions balance the connection with this person you don't want to jump into a serious kind of relationship right now or you don't want to give this person uh, false hopes about the future of this connection that's why you are like uh, you want to handle it with tact handle it with emotions but from a friendship level and with patience and you want this person to be very very patient with you and wait for the right time for things to be positive for things to be revealed at your own pace okay sagittarius energy it is the sagittarius taurus virgo capricorn cool let's see what is the outcome of the situation till the 18th of december aquarius what's coming towards you what's outcome what's the outcome let's see knight of cups and the hermit card i feel like somebody who is silent with you or who is not talking to you much about you and about your situation somebody is coming towards you with a love offer or even if it is like not a love offer kind of thing that uh, uh, somebody is going to reveal you that that they love you or something somebody is going to show you the care that they have for you the emotions that they have for you i feel like the actions are going to speak louder than words let's clarify this cancer pisces scorpio energy Three of and three of cups and the strength card and the knight of wands. Yes, there is a, there is a very good chance that somebody is coming towards you with an offer of uh, celebrating life with them. Somebody who is silent with you, or you are silent with this person, or not talking much with this person. Somebody is coming towards you for uh, for this energy of let's uh, hang out together, let's uh, go out together. I feel like you are carrying two energies with you. One that you are hoping for reconciliation with, and one somebody who is willing to be with you. Somebody who's uh, uh again a younger person or younger personality who is coming towards you with an offer with an opportunity to start this uh, chapter in your love life a uh, new chapter in your love life again but you are kind of uh, silent with both of them right now because i feel like you are waiting for some someone specific and that someone specific is might be not coming towards you but some other energy is coming towards you or rushing towards you and taking an uh, taking an action towards you but i feel like you will be silent in that case I don't see you jumping into a relationship or jumping into any kind of connection or making any kind of uh, life changing decisions in this particular week. I do see uh, two energies coming around. At least uh, you are going to carry two energies, one for the reconciliation, other for this uh, newish energy to develop some kind of friendship with. Yeah, I hope I don't think that somebody from your past is coming for reconciliation or something. still you are ho hopeful and positive about that but i don't think that uh, happening but another energy is also present here that can convert your love life into very interesting kind of energies that's up to you now how you going to take it so the guidance for you is the high priestess so listen to your intuition when it comes to a relationship or certain kind of connection in your in your love life right now because you might not be able to <clears throat> understand this connection fully or understand the dynamic of this relationship completely so you have to gather the knowledge you have to be silent and you have to just take care of yourself you know 
once you are ready then only jump into this relationship game or co connection game or love game right till then just listen to your intuition where you, wherever your intuition is guiding you just do that thing right so thank you so much for tuning in aquarius i'll see you soon in the next video bye bye take care god bless you namaste